Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the Entrepreneur Show, the show where we have the privilege to meet a successful businessmen uh, and embark on a journey with them and then go through the steps of how they became so successful. Um, today we have with us uh, Mr. Abul Kalam. Assalamu alaikum Abul Kalam. Wa welcome to the show. Thank you very much. And it's a pleasure to have you um, as it's a pleasure to have all our guests, uh, especially with the, uh, the busy schedule that they have. Um, now, I understand, I mean, obviously the show is about entrepreneurship, how somebody have uh, sort of became so successful and we want to be benefited by that and the, the viewers as well. Um, now, I understand you are involved in many businesses. Yes, right? correct. Uh, I will mention a few. Now, it's, a, it's quite a long list and I'm quite surprised uh, how you deal with all this and we'll go through that uh, in, in a few moments. Uh, now, Abul Kalam Bai is um, a vice chairman of Al Razi Spinning Mills. He's the manager director of N Power Limited, which is a solar and cables company, right? Uh, he's also a director and chairman of KHM Power Limited, Net GV Limited, which is a software firm, a British Homes Hotel, AFK Educational Trust, also director um, at Hanifi Mills, which is a paperboard mills. Uh, wow, Dreamland Park in uh, Gulab Gunj, Bangladesh, which I've visited myself. Uh, and um, Silver Village Homes, also Lalmatia Model Town. Mm -hmm. Wow! I mean, how do you uh, how do you manage all these? I mean, the, the, is there something that you're not involved in? <laughs> I should say. Oh, oh well, uh, thank you very much for firstly for inviting me to this uh, program. I am honoured to be here and share my experience uh, with uh, TV One. And uh, thank you. Yes, uh, yes, correct. Uh, all those ventures and all those projects are under my, under my supervision. And uh, I'm mostly running from UK. Okay. And I'm based in also in Dhaka. Okay. We have an office in Dhaka where we manage all our projects from. And all different activities and all different projects have their own managerial and management. So I am in the, um, you could say, in the financial side. And looking after the over overheads and looking after the majority of my some some of the companies are run under my supervision okay. and some of the companies are run under different supervision different management right. but i am a director or chairman right. in those regards so overall i mean you are at the head of the office and uh, some of the some of the projects some of the um, uh, some of the companies yes Obviously, I mean, you're in partnership with, uh, mm. you know, um, uh, many companies as well. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so how do you find partnership? Uh, obviously, I mean, there are businesses that you cannot run without partnership, mm -hmm. uh, although we want to be, you know, the, the CEO mm -hmm. and the complete shareholder mm -hmm. of everything. But how do you find partnership in uh, business? Um, there's two different kind of aspects. The, the, the climate different changes between yeah. UK and a third world country. Right. So in uk is a different base and in bangladesh is a different base okay so there is a long sure. story to that um so your question was to me uh, how do you find partnership yes absolutely uh, partnership is a um, how would i describe it can be it can be very smooth and it can have various disasters so there are a lot of definition to the disasters and there's a lot of definition to the comfort so I don't want to go in long in terms of that in average is okay, but if you're able to manage and sustain, and also if you can be on the top of things, then right. the partnership will work. Otherwise, partnership will not work. Absolutely right. So I mean, obviously, some of the some I mean, some of the businesses, um, you know, partners are required mm -hmm. uh, because there's so many fields in mm -hmm. business that one cannot actually um, deal with, if you like. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I understand that. So that that's the, you know that's a, that's a good thing. And um, also, the main aspects of business is mm -hmm. obviously how you you know what the passion behind it, mm -hmm. right? Uh, all businesses, people, you know, th there are individuals that can't deal with all kinds of businesses. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people go into business because of the personal aspirations, mm -hmm. their, you know, desires and mm -hmm. something that you like to do, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you, I, I mentioned so many different mm -hmm. types of business. Mm -hmm. Are you passionate about all of them? Or what is it about? Is it, is, is it the money that's behind it? Or, you know, well, can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, obviously, in business, you have to have passion. 
and secondly without uh, different um, without the partnership you cannot achieve all different goals right i am experienced in certain fields but there are certain partners and sort of um, experienced guys in different fields yeah so therefore you do need partners yeah like i have um, it business which okay. i need partners i am not very aware of it but i'm start to learning yeah. this it so you need partners in it you need partners in solar you need partners in all different kinds Kind of business and the thing is about me with one business it relates to another business you meet people you get together and you understand the business and then you start to do financial activities yeah. my main purpose of um, getting into business obviously the money is there yeah but now the figures obviously. are there <laughs> Yeah. But money is now is not the fast part. The right. figures are there. Figures are there. I'm not counting the money every time. I'm counting the figures. Okay. But uh, money is not for entire for my for myself. No. Not for my family. I believe in charity. So okay. the, I do a lot of work with charity back home and, and many other parts of the country. So man, money is not the main motive. One of them not. So so, so, so many businessmen yes, say. Yes. Yeah. And money without money there is no achievement to other success so right. you do need money yep. and my earning of money is not main for myself for my family okay. i like to share it with we'll, we'll talk about we'll talk about your family in, in, yeah. a, in, in a bit um now obviously uh, going back to the partnership uh, mm -hmm. fields of it and it's very interesting because you mentioned very briefly that uh, a company you mentioned that you're not uh, you know very much uh, literate in in mm -hmm. that field of solar for example mm -hmm. so i mean every different business requires a partner who mm -hmm. is experienced experienced in that field mm -hmm. hence you know partnership and i, I understand that very well and um, you, you know this is again is 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 a, is a requirement because mm -hmm. otherwise that business would not be successful and many businessmen they don't know mm -hmm. um the actual business itself mm -hmm. whatever specific business we're talking about mm -hmm. but um you have to get in partners and that's where the importance of partnership comes mm -hmm. in right uh, let me give you an example of one of the partnership yeah um i have been involved in bangladesh with de various different um kind of project different kind of business right where we come into solar power uh, solar power uh, we started off about 10 years ago with these small businesses of making bulbs and this and yeah. that and cables so and so and then we moved into the higher level of okay. um, solar, um, producing electricity, right. generating electricity for people where um, where there in rural, rural, areas, rural areas, areas where there's no electricity, no electricity, yeah. and we supply to three hundred people, right. um, build a grid, and then supply to the national grid, and okay. also supply to the rural areas where it's needed. Now that is benefiting the that people in, in an immense uh, way. Yes, definitely. Right? It will benefit. Uh, it will benefit. And it will benefit the government. And it will also benefit the people. And obviously there is a, a reward to that as well. Absolutely. I understand the government subsidizes this as well. So that's, that's a yes, good part of Yes, government. Yeah. And there is uh, some, uh, there's other financial institute mm. to uh, subsidize this and inject uh, money in this kind of project right and at the moment currently we are doing a solar irrigation project okay. we, we have completed at most about 40 sites one site is about a government project of 40 lakhs per site right we intend to do about 500 sites right. that's um, uh, uh, this called solar irrigation mm. system what we do we with the solar power we yeah get the water out and you pump the water, pump out. The water right. out and uh, supply to the farmers who need it okay. and there is a return obviously for that okay. and for this kind of experience you need partners i am in london i am in dhaka Absolutely. you need partners no, who are more experienced in this field mm -hmm. but what you got to keep notice of yeah. the financial terms and you have to have some kind of activities okay if you do not have any activities and you just put the finance in then you, the business will be in loss Absolutely. Okay. I mean, to our viewers, uh, we, we've spoken about the importance of partnership, mm -hmm. um, and many businesses will not run. Mm -hmm. um, and it's quite interesting how you explained that. And mm -hmm. thank you for that. Uh, and also benefiting the community as well, mm -hmm. because th these kind of uh, sometimes we think of businessmen to be shrewd and so forth. Mm -hmm. However, many bis businesses they do benefit the community mm -hmm. uh, you know um, and the, the the minority as well mm -hmm. we where people are not uh, sort of uh, uh, supplied with mm -hmm. the essentials so that's a very good thing um now we would like to uh, uh, know about i mean all these businesses you mm -hmm. deal with we'd like to know a little bit about um 
your personal life as well. Okay. How do you get time to uh, give you know your family uh, that time and, and that, because because this mm -hmm. is very important as well, right? Mm -hmm. uh, in life. Um, but you know, I've seen a list of all this, and uh, you know, it's not just. I'm sure you're not just at home sitting on the phone and dealing with it. Mm -hmm. you, you visit many, many, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, countries. So, what do you do with the family at that time, and how did your kids, you know, react to you as a father? Okay. Well, um, firstly, uh, the thing is with my life, I find it I give enough time at home. You do. Yeah, I do because. Um, uh, firstly, when you finish your Fajr prayer, yeah. you, you do your Fajr after your Fajr, is there's plenty of time till 12 o'clock. So during that time, you have all this correspondence before 1 o'clock in mm. the morning or mm. afternoon. We finish with Bangladesh activities or other world activities. Okay. And then you do your prayers and then you go on to UK, UK activities. Okay. Okay, so, so, I mean, look, how many kids do you have? I have four. MashaAllah. Uh, and obviously, uh, Bobby's at home, yes. and and she has her. You yes, know, yes, yes. And what do the children do? I and mean, how old are they? Uh, all of them are going to uni. Okay, uh, sorry, sure. one of them is just going to school, and three of them are going to uni. Mm. And I intend to work from home mainly. So okay. nowadays, with the modern, sophisticated equipment, you know, you don't have to appear. Yeah. in office and I don't yes. have any clientele basis. I am only looking at the financial figures and daily management figures. So therefore, my level of work is not a presence. Mm. It's only when I have to uh, attend other ta other countries. That's when when we have big meetings and big uh, decisions to make. That's where my attendance... Meetings with who? A meeting with uh, government, meeting okay. with the people. I meeting with, other. meeting with the family. Uh, no, the no, with, with the, no, no, no. no. <laughs> with, okay. uh, with the other solar companies, with the right. IT companies. So when, we, when there's a big deal going on, then the chairman or you know, the managing director needs to be present. Otherwise, my staff are yeah. adequate to do all the necessary work, yeah. and I only go and just uh, in the meeting, I'm well. briefed, and that's it. Okay. When you are reached to a level, yeah. you, the work is very small. Okay. All right. Well, let, let's see. Well, we've got to get uh, quite a few things in, t <laughs> you know, uh, within the time, mm. and uh, it's really interesting. I could <laughs> go on speaking <laughs> yes, to you uh, forever. Now, obviously, everybody has a start. Yeah. Right. And an entrepreneur basically, from my understanding, means somebody at one point didn't have much, mm -hmm. right? So can you tell us a little bit about how you started off mm -hmm. and then what made you sort of move mm -hmm. ahead, going up the ladder, if you like? Okay. Yeah. Well, um, my desire, my ambition was to become something. Okay. And, um, yeah, and also uh, leave a legacy after my death, so people remember about me. That's well, it, that is important to you? That is important to legacy. me, yeah. right. I, Abul Kalam, maybe there's a lot of millions of Abul Kalam in this life yeah. who's not left nothing and no one remembers. Yeah. So my, my main thing was uh, to leave a legacy behind me. Wow. And without that, your, your ethics, your support, and financial grounds must be there. Right. Otherwise, people will not, you know, talk yeah. about you. So, in that terms, I will many many leave and they're not remembered. Yeah, you yeah. want to be remembered definitely. in a good way. In a good way, definitely. Yes. So, therefore, I have done a lot of charity works, and there's a lot of things that I have done for my area, which are nameplated and which are not nameplated. You know, so they in that terms, yeah. yeah. But uh, the main ambition was uh, to do something. No, but and what was the start of your business? Like, oh. like, for example, what kind of business did you start off with? Oh, okay, you okay. Know, and that, that's what well, we want to know. Uh, while I was in studying, I, uh, my father did, has a, did have a restaurant trade, right. a restaurant trade, and uh, I was working there as well as a part-time, and then I used to go to college as well. But after leaving the studies, I did open many restaurants. Right. Many. 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 Right. So, yes. Uh, that's usually the case with our... Yeah. With our uh, yeah. B Bengalis especially, mm -hmm. you know, restaurant was, mm. but you cannot deny that mm. restaurant has made a lot of money it and has, has made a lot of Bengalis successful, uh, even though at this time and age people have moved away from restaurants. Mm -hmm. You know, I've got a passion of restaurant. My family's, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the background is, is restaurant business. And, and, and uh, like you said, you started that. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about that. Okay. And then how did you move away from the restaurant okay. business? Uh, basically, um, basically, restaurant trade was a very good trade, and it was easy. It was, uh, you know, 
uh, and I had uh, plenty of time because you do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do and it had no guideline to it. So okay. yeah, so I thought I'd study uh, going to go into the restaurant trade and it was easy money, you know. Be because uh, that's what you learned from, yeah, from your father. Uh, your father, right? yes. Okay. But And I knew going up nine to five working for somebody who was, it was difficult like and timing and this, this was something that... Many entrepreneurs uh, are like that. Yeah. They don't want to work for others. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, I started off that. Then I needed, I actually quickly thought about how to process it and make quick money okay so you know you're not going to stand with one and you're not going to make money whatever your desire is right. so I, I had a quick thinking okay. and I did some research how to you know quickly um, make money from that trade so I opened many many restaurants yeah. uh, around the country yeah. with different partners okay. probably I had 60 70 partners at that time wow. you wow. know uh, employing uh, different various people right. in different you know, department. Now, did you did you face difficulties? Um, obviously, business has their difficulties and struggles, mm. right? Mm. You must have faced some difficulties, whether it be with partners, whether it be uh, from from you not being there, mm. uh, employees as well. Firstly, you have to allow some depreciation from partners. You will not get the actuals. Right. So 15, 20% you have to allow. You have to you allow have to, that. You have to bear that yeah. in mind. So if you're okay with that, then partner is no problem. Right. Secondly, if your financial stock... That's probably the risk factor, isn't yeah. it? When they say, uh, you know, all business comes with risks. Yeah, yeah. That's probably one yeah. of them. Yeah. You know, and if not the right partner, mm -hmm. uh, then, you know, the mm. business will fail. Mm. Uh, but yeah, go on, carry on. So if you're not there, you have to allow that. Yeah. Okay. Second of all, your financial background has to be very strong. So yes. in terms of if it's in difficulty, you rescue. Yes. And with, with the rescue, if the finance is there, no business dies. No business dies. Wow, interesting. Okay. okay. That's very true. That's because you, you've got the money to back it up. You've got the money and then you buy away. experience. Yeah. Mm. So that's another thing. And thirdly, uh, thirdly, you have to keep an eye open to it. You just can't leave it there and say, oh, forget about it and someone's going to bring you. I tell you something, nobody yeah. brings you nothing. Nobody, Nobody brings, brings you, nothing. you nothing. Even your father doesn't bring you nothing. Right. So you have to keep an eye open for it and you have to keep your activities, no matter less or more, but you have to keep your activities too. So my, uh, with the difficulty partnership, no. I, all my partners, they are all mainly, half of them are millionaires now. Mashallah. You know, I've got to speak to you after mm, the after the show, obviously, sure. and uh, because um, you know half of them are millionaires. And I'm, I'm proud you could say that on the TV because many no, of no. our partners. Well, this show, well, basically, this show is about uh, people like yourselves, mm -hmm. um, and I would say the off the radar. Mm -hmm. You understand? And we mm -hmm. want to bring them out, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, a lot of people um, they make a lot, a lot of money, right? Mm -hmm. At the same time, they benefit, but they want to keep away from the the, the limelight. Mm -hmm. uh, but this this is what the show is about. Now, tell me about. Um, any business that you started off that you couldn't finish, you know, what was the reason that you couldn't finish and so forth, you know, okay. has, there, um, has there been any like that? There have been many, you know, many businesses, as you know, you know, right. beside this, um, you have mentioned, there are yeah. other businesses that which has failed, yeah. uh, failed, but um, you can't keep focus on everything. You have to let go of something. Sometimes the partners are, you know, they become too greed. Mm -hmm. And because of their greed, the business goes. Sometimes they want the business themselves yeah. because they don't realize you have invested it money in there, you yeah. invested time, they realized that, okay, mm, they got the experience, they had the business, and you just injected the money, so therefore you are not eligible for any dividend equally, yep. so they become greed, and then they go to the street again, begging. So trust <laughs> is a big factor there yes. as well, isn't it? Yeah. Right? Trust, yeah. honesty and trust. trust. Tell us, give, give me three things mm. for our viewers as well, uh, you know, three things as a businessman that you need to have to be a successful businessman. Okay. Firstly, is a trust. Right. You cannot go far without the trust. Trust the people who you're doing business with. Yes, definitely. Right. And you never think that you're not going to see that person. Because yeah. after 20 years or 15 years, if you're still in business, you will see that person. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you have kept a reasonable um, relationship with them, yeah. then that trust will take you far. And always pay your money mm -hmm. to people owed. Okay. Other, otherwise, you will see them and you will feel down and that will not take you to success. Okay. And thirdly, pay your taxes and pay all the necessary means and regulate with the country you are living in yep. and pay all the dues. Keep yourself legit. Keep yourself legit. Basically. That will take you far. Yeah. Otherwise, it will always pull you behind. 
and you'll be looking over your shoulder. <laughs> You're looking <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> so that's, that's, not, that's not a very comfortable no, no. Uh, so position to be yes. in. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes you. So, se so the se second thing you you mentioned the first thing. Did you mention two or one? Three. Did you already mention? Did yeah, three in one go. Yes. I'm behind today. Yes. Right. Okay. So okay. So the first thing would be trust. Trust. The second thing would be. Uh, second thing again is it falls in the trust category, but uh, keeping your uh, keeping your uh, word. Being honest. Uh, being honest. Being honest. Honest and sincere. Okay. okay. And the third thing was. Uh, third thing and uh, never leave debt behind. <laughs> never leave debt mm. behind. Wow. Well, it's, it's, uh, you know, I mean, uh, definitely, I've learned. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit younger than you. Uh, maybe not little bit, maybe much younger than you, but I've definitely learned quite a lot today. And also uh, our viewers, I'm sure they have learned quite a lot. Um, now, we we are short of time. So future plans, quickly, if you just mention, you know, within a minute or so, yes. what, are, what, what are your future plans? Uh, well, businessmen always want to be bigger. My desire has ended. My Your desire has uh, ended. Okay. Okay. The first now, I've heard. Yeah, okay. uh, yes, definitely. And I have reached the level I wanted to reach yeah. mashallah yeah and now i uh, i want to keep those business whatever they are in a smooth uh, plain position and it runs well and yeah. successfully i will keep a track okay what would you suggest you know lastly i'll just uh, quickly get this in what would you suggest for new entrepreneurs okay new you know people who are looking to the future and they want to start off okay what would you suggest some tips uh, some tips uh, yeah. as i said uh, honesty is the main part of the business yep. okay never mind small big large whatever the business may be mm -hmm. you need to be very honest and very sincere uh, with people who you do your transactions and um, um, obviously you have to work hard yep. and never wait for tomorrow Never wait for tomorrow. Yes. Okay. What, whatever it is, you need to do it today and start it from now. Okay. Okay. Well, well, you heard that, viewers. I mean, you've heard it from a very prominent businessman, and he has um, risen, you know, substantially uh, in the, the the business factor. We haven't mentioned. I mean, he's got business in China, Bangladesh. Uh, we haven't mentioned that uh, because of lack of time. Um, now, I'd like to say very, 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 very big thank you. And thank you, you for to, coming to the show. Uh, thank you too. Uh, coming to the show, um, Abul Kalambai. Um, we'll have to end the show now. And uh, until next time, when we will have uh, a, a, another entrepreneur and uh, who will be telling us about his business and how he uh, rose uh, and uh, we'll be learning uh, uh, from him. So thank you very much, viewers, uh, for joining me today. And until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.